Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Chicago Conservative. If you are a new viewer, make sure you hit that like subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you guys for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Now, guys, it's been a crazy month. I don't know what's going on with our country. They're trying to kill Trump. The news isn't trying to take accountability for this crazy rhetoric that they're spreading across every single news media platform you can think of and mainstream media and social media. And it's like, man, we are we are so close to the brink of civil war. It's not even close. The country has never been this divided, ladies and gentlemen. And quite frankly, we need to get it together. And I'm not even just going to say we. I'm going to really just say the left. The left needs to get it together, guys. You guys need to chill on the nazi germany crap because if anything you guys are the communist you guys are the socialist i mean if i'm being honest kamala is more like putin than trump is but let me just get right to this video um there was a video that i thought was very very interesting yet it was very very hard to listen to there is um a group of women and they were basically giving their opinions on kamala and trump so you know where this is leading to already, guys. And I believe this was on MSNBC. And they were basically asked, are you voting for Kamala because you actually like her policies, which she doesn't have any? So are you just basically voting for Kamala because she's a woman? Or you're voting against Trump? Like, these people, well, you know what? Let me... I have to really, really watch my words in this video, guys, because you guys already know how these women get. Um, So me personally, I mean, I'm still going to be honest, guys. They were fairly incompetent. They didn't know what the hell they were talking about. And um, this is actually scary because you have people like these women and these Swifties and all of these people that just don't think about the country itself not the minor problems but the problems that majority affects americans they're not thinking about stuff like that guys so brace yourselves for this cringeworthy video i'm really like i was saying, i'm really trying to watch my words here guys because i don't want to offend no women but you take a look and then you know, just roll the clip, guys. Good God. What comes to mind when you think of Donald Trump? I would say unqualified. Unprepared. I'd say ignorant. Highly influential, but disingenuous. Selfish and arrogant. What word or words come to mind when you think of Kamala Harris? She has a lot of power in her voice. I would say hope. I would say strong. I would say eloquent. She's been very persuasive and I think persuaded me to vote for her. Numbing. What does that mean? Her administration, what she would serve towards American politics would be like another four years of kind of stagnant um, or very small progress, if any. I'm curious to hear from those who said you're voting for Kamala Harris. Is it a vote for Harris or more against Trump? Olivia. It's a little bit of both for me. I don't want to see another Trump presidency. January 6th, just seeing that play out. I was in the history class when it happened. Um, we watched it on C-SPAN on TV. That really made me think I don't ever want our country to go down this road. Haiti, is it a vote for or a vote against someone? In all honesty, I would say that it's more so against Trump. Everything that he stands for is really the complete opposite of what I stand for. My vote, I think, is for Kamala Harris. Harris had said that she would sign some bills that are really important to me. Reinstate Roe v. Wade. I want to see that bill. What issues are most important to each of you in this election? The jeopardization of education, specifically with critical race theory. I'm worried that if education is taken out of schools, history will just repeat itself. But when it comes to immigration, Donald Trump has obviously shown alarming behaviors when it comes to immigrants and non-documented people. And at the end of the day, I'm a product of all of that. As somebody who's interested in international relations, the biggest issue for me is um, the current genocide going on in Palestine. The main thing on my mind is abortion right. This right is just so vital to, you know, being able to defend our autonomy. I'm 
a product of in vitro fertilization. If it weren't for IVF, then I wouldn't be here right now. So that's an issue that's very important to me as well. Do you feel like your peer group is more engaged in this election? With social media like TikTok, it's definitely helped a lot with the campaign. In what way? I hate to bring this up. So Charlie XCX has <laughs> this album, Brat. And so whenever she, the day that Biden had dropped out, she tweeted, Kamala is brat. I think at that point, all these memes started coming out. That really like influenced young voters and Social media has kind of helped push that. I think that is going to be a very big benefit to her in terms of young voters because a lot of us have a very, very positive perception of Kamala Harris based off of a lot of videos that we've seen and this kind of sense of um, the way that she's been sensationalized through social media. I'm just going to say this. Socrates was right, man. Now, if you guys don't know who Socrates is, look him up and... Me personally, this is why they killed them. This is why they killed Socrates, man. Uh, now, just excluding gender, okay? I'm really, really watching my words, guys. Trust me. But I'm going to just exclude gender from this. I, If you're stupid, you shouldn't vote. Sorry. Like, if you're dumb, you just shouldn't vote. You don't even know what's going on out there, guys. Like, people who aren't living in the real world, honestly, you guys are going to hate me in this video. But I don't even think people who are on government assistance, if you're not a veteran or, like, some type of contributor to society, you shouldn't vote either. What the hell are you voting for? You don't do anything. What are you voting for? You don't do anything. You, you should have some type of... Of like you got to meet some kind of standard to have some kind of say so in this country. This is why men who fought and registered for war only had the right to vote. And that's why, because they were the ones fighting and dying for our country. What the hell does a you know what? I don't want to come off as mean, but I'm just being realistic here, guys. Do you, are, you mean to tell me a person who pays their taxes every single year for 30 years has the same equal votes as a person who hasn't been doing nothing their entire life for 30 years? That That isn't, honestly, guys, that isn't fair. That's just not fair. The incompetence of American citizens nowadays is literally, I am so scared of our educational system right now. And this is why you guys aren't even talking about policies. And if I'm being honest, only people care about abortions for real, for real are three o foes. I, I said it, I said it, I said it. I believe there are exceptions, grape, incest, and the life of the mother, yes. But you know how much percentage that is when it comes to abortion? Do you know like how many times that's the case? Less than 2%. So what do you think the, excuse me, where do you think the rest of that percentage is coming from? So less than 2% out of 100 abortions are grape, incest, and life of the mother. What's the rest of that percentage? Let me know now, because at this point, this is getting ridiculous. You women aren't getting really great out there like that. Like, I don't hear stories about, I don't see people with Down syndrome walking around everywhere. So you guys aren't really doing the incest like that. And um, there are a billion people over like, like billions and billions of people on earth. So if women were dying after birth, um, there wouldn't really be a lot of people out here like that. Women have like multiple kids. Majority of women out here can have multiple children. Okay. And you, the woman's life is probably at risk because you're trying, you're probably trying to have a baby at 60. I'm just saying, you guys know you're going to get, I'm not joking over here, guys. The only reason why they are fighting for abortion is because they don't want to be mothers. They don't want to be mothers. They're <laughs> unprotected and they go, I'm pregnant. And then they, I don't want the baby. 
It's not even the dad for real, for real. The dad would rather keep the kid. It's the woman. Like, I'm being honest with you. Look, I'm married. My wife, like, she works in things like this, guys. It's not the men. It is the woman. And if I could just throw a statistic out there, I'm not trying to bash the women. But you can Google this, too. Matter of fact, grab your phone right now and Google it with me. Who is more likely to abuse children, men or matter of fact, children and elderly and women? Who is more likely to abuse those three demographics, men or women? Um, It's going to be the women. The women abuse kids more. They abuse old people more. They abuse themselves more, which is other women. I mean, let's be honest, bro. Do you really think women are out here hitting men like me? Like, dude, no, because we're going to laugh at you. So the, and, and that makes them even matter, if I'm being honest. Like if a woman punches me and I laugh in her face, do you think she's going to just walk away? You know, these women have something to prove nowadays. She's probably going to want to try to punch me harder. But with old people and children and, you know, other women, they don't really feel like that because they feel like they have an equal ground or they have more ground because this is children and women we're talking about. But this is just how they think mentally, guys. Just being honest here, like, look, everybody's trying to save this country. That's a patriot man or a woman. OK. This isn't a gender thing. This isn't a race thing. But it's like at the end of the day, guys, abortion isn't isn't what you guys think it is. Like people, white white people are having abortions, guys. It's really just women having unprotected sex. They're choosing the wrong mate. They're choosing the wrong person to have sex with. Just saying, guys. And I don't even know why. Kamala Harris even have a say so in things like where you don't even have children. You don't even have kids. So it's like, what are you even talking about? You've never been around kids. You've been in like, like you, you honestly was a streetwalker. So it's like, you wouldn't even be a, a you would, you would have been a, a bad mom, a bad mom. Like, seriously, I seen you with Mont Montel Willis and uh, whatever his name is. I've seen your past, Kamala. I used I used to see you with the little dresses and all. You used to be, you know what I'm saying? You had a little body on you back in the day, but um, that past is coming back to bite you in the ass, if that makes sense. So, I mean, she she wouldn't be a woman that I would see as a future president of the United States. Now, if this is what you women want, and she's actually allowing abortion up to nine months, I actually just told a woman this who was a Kamala supporter. And after I told her that, and she's like, oh, no, you're lying. I'm like, oh, you think I'm lying? Look at her vice president, Tim Waltz. Look it up. He signed a bill allowing abortion up to nine months. The baby is literally here. And that's what she said. Like, the baby's already here. Like, yeah. So that's murder. <laughs> and then they're allowing this. Also in California, Minnesota, uh, Virginia, the last governor allowed it. He said it on TV. He said it on TV. So I'm not even understanding what women are really voting for. Are you guys voting for Kamala Harris or are you guys voting against Donald Trump? Because you guys are falling for this crazy, racist, stupid rhetoric that the mainstream media is feeding you. What is it? Because if you've just voted against Donald Trump, you're a fairly incompetent person. And Socrates was right. Make sure you guys tune into the next video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you guys check out the Chicago Red page too, guys. So if you want to visit that, chicagored.org, guys. And I'm out of here, guys. Peace.